Hi everyone, in this video I am going to show you how you can manually install WordPress in cPanel. So let's get started. First of all you need to visit your cPanel, enter your domain name slash cPanel and hit enter. Now here you need to enter your username and password and then click on login. So in this way you will be redirected to your cPanel account. From here scroll down and open file manager in new tab and then my sql databases in new tab at first we are going to create a database for our wordpress website so i will give it a name and then click on create database our database is now created and now we are going to download WordPress. Go to wordpress.org and then click on get WordPress. From here scroll down and then click on download WordPress. Our downloading is now started. It will take a little bit time. Our WordPress package is now downloaded and now we are going to upload this package to our hosting. Go to your file manager and from here scroll down and go to public html if you have only one domain just upload the wordpress files here as wordpress is already installed in my directory so for the demo purpose i am going to create a new folder and install wordpress so in order to create a new folder just click on folder and then add the name here and then click on create new folder our folder is now created and now we are going to open it here it is and now we are going to upload our wordpress files to this folder if you have only one domain just go to public html and upload your wordpress files there so in order to upload wordpress files i will click on upload button then select file and then i will select file from my computer here it is i will click on it and then click on open as you can see that our WordPress files are now uploaded. So now we will click on go back button. And now we are going to extract our file. So we will click right click on it. And then click on extract. And then again click on extract files. So now we will close it. And now we will refresh the page. So we will click on reload. So now we will double click on the WordPress folder and then click on select all and now click on move button and then we will remove it from here. So now click on one up one level. So now our WordPress files are extracted in our folder now we will visit our website link and here we will see a page from where we can install our wordpress so at first we will select the language now click on let's go now what we need is a database name user and a password so we will go back to our databases page and then click on go back scroll down and now we are going to create a new user for our database i will add a password for this username and then i will click on create user now our username is also created so we will click on go back button and now we are going to add this user to our database so scroll down again and go to add user to database section at first we are going to select our user that we have just created and then from the next drop down we are going to select our database that we have created and then we will click on add button now we are going to give it all privileges so i will click on all privileges and then scroll down and click on make changes that's it our user is also added to our database and now we are going to use these details on our wordpress installation page 
So I will copy these details from here and paste them there. And here we will insert the password that we have used for our uh, user. And then we will click on submit button. And then we will click on run the installation. Here we will add our site title. Here we will add username that we will use to log into our WordPress website. And here we will add our email and then click on install WordPress. That's it. Our WordPress is now installed. And now we are going to log into our WordPress dashboard. So I will click on login. And here we need to enter our username and password that we have just selected. And then we will click on login. So this will redirect us on our WordPress dashboard. And from here you can do all the settings like you can in install new themes, you can add new plugins. So this is how you can install WordPress in cPanel manually. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please like the video and subscribe to my channel.